Welcome to prayer meeting. Our devotional reading tonight comes from Romans chapter 8, and we'll be looking at verses 6 through 11. We can call these uh, texts life in the spirit. So Romans 8, verse 6 and 8, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. There's perhaps a lot of words in, in those verses that you need to underline and emphasize. Especially when he says, carnal mindedness is death. We're not talking about physical death as much as we're talking about spiritual death. And Paul says, you are one or the other, carnal minded or spiritual minded. You cannot be a mixture of both because they are exclusive. Spiritual minded lives, therefore, are spiritually alive. The word mind here does not just mean a manner of thinking. Mindedness is a primal disposition. So you are disposed to follow the impulses of, one, the flesh, physical life, or the spirit and not your spirit, but the spirit of God. So we conclude that you have only one master, yourself or God. The carnal mind, substitute yourself there, your carnal mind is at enmity with God. And in case you don't know what that word enmity means, it means hostile, it means hatred, it means ill will, certainly not a friend. So the carnal mind is not a friend of God. It is hostile towards God. It hates God. It holds ill will against anything having to do with God. And Paul says, it will not and cannot submit to God. So those in the flesh, those that have not been converted, cannot please God. No matter how hard you might try, you cannot please God. So you see, it is not possible to be carnal and spiritual at the same time. That would be the same thing as saying a person is saved and not saved at the same time. It's a paradox. It just cannot possibly be. Then verses 9, 10, and 11, Paul says, But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. So we learn from what Paul says here that either you have the spirit of God, the spirit of Christ, he calls it, the spirit of God living in you, or you do not, one or the other. There's no halfway point. There's no joint um, residence. <laughs> Uh, of uh, carnality and the Spirit of God in the same body, in the same mind. Now, some views of salvation teach that you cannot have the Spirit in you until you are sanctified. In other words, you cannot have the Holy Spirit. I mean, you do not have the Holy Spirit because you're only justified. And they say you are yet a carnal Christian. Well, 
Paul said, if you do not have the Holy Spirit, you're not Christ. So either you have the Holy Spirit or you don't. Either you're Christ or you're not. So how can you be justified and not be Christ? If you have the Holy Spirit, you have spiritual life. Now, your body will die, but you will still be alive. And you will also be raised from the dead, just as Christ was raised from the dead. And you will spend eternity somewhere. If you are Christ, you will spend eternity with him in a place we call heaven. But if you are not Christ, you will spend eternity in a place the Bible calls hell. The choice, my friend, is yours. What choice will you make? Amen.